normally I don't do a whole lot of uh, videos about cooking, but today I'm gonna do a little one just to show you my preparation of these braised short ribs I'm going to do. I've got these beautifully cut short ribs that I got at work, usually really expensive, but for some reason, people don't like buying them. So when they get cheap or short on time, I buy them up because I absolutely love short ribs. And in this, with this technique, this bone is gonna come right off and all this beautiful marbling, is gonna cook right in. And it's really quite amazing. Now I've handled this meat a lot and I don't wanna get my spices all gross with these gloves. So I'm gonna change them. Might seem wasteful, but putting these back in with all that meat juice and stuff on them, nah, not for me, not in my house. You can if you want it yours, but I'm not going to. So I'm gonna grab another pair of gloves. I like to liberally season with salt, pepper, and garlic, and that's it. Super simple. And then I'm gonna let this meat sit out for 30 minutes. Let it get to room temp, and then I'm gonna sear it off hard. Add what I use at my house to add some other aromas to it. I'm gonna, in my, my Dutch oven, I've got some shredded carrots, some onions, some garlic, and then I'm gonna put it back in. Although, then I'm gonna deglaze with a little bit of brandy. Then I'm gonna put it in the oven with some beef stock, and uh, garlic clove and let it just cook until it's fall off the bone tender. I hope you all enjoy watching me cook. This is really just the setup. If there's interest in the comments, maybe then I will uh, show the recipe on how I'm actually going to cook it and what it's going to look like when it's done. So I'm going to make some mashed potatoes and uh, we'll have mashed potatoes with this beautiful gravy that I'm gonna make using the um, uh, parts from cooking this beautiful cuts of meat. So my non-dominant left hand is what I'm gonna use to flip all of these meats. And then I will season so I only have to touch. I only have to touch them with one hand And I know there's gonna be people, if they comment, if I get any comments that are telling me that I'm doing this wrong. I've been cooking for well over 30 years now. And I've been cooking this style of food for a long, long time. Now, I'm not grabbing with anything so I can ground, grind just beautiful peppers on this. I don't want to get, like I said, I don't want to get my my shakers all gross. So one hand on all this. And I can, I will probably end up still using some disinfecting wipes on all my seasonings. And I don't use real expensive spices. I don't use real expensive tools. I like to be able to tell everybody and anybody that they can cook as simply as I do. I also don't like making a mess. So I covered my counter with a little bit of parchment paper to get going. When it comes to cooking salt, pepper, garlic, those are my seasonings of choice. If I am making a specific style of food, let's say Mexican or Italian, then I will for sure add some different seasonings. Usually salt free, but for this application, for what I'm working on with this, I love having salt, pepper, and garlic. Enjoy your day, everyone. Remember, love is love. And if you need a hug, find me, Chef Bob.